should be in your portfolio assignment for the programming track? Code. Um, and what kind of code, right? Not just, um, we're not looking for uh, uh, a hello world style code where it's, it's very academic or very basic. We're looking for something that you find technically challenging, that you found technically challenging when you wrote it. Um, and that is going to be able to demonstrate your skills, that you have some skills in C or C++. Now, if you are a Unity programmer, or you were a C-sharp programmer in your undergrad, or you're in Unreal, and you're an amazing blueprint program in Unreal, those are wonderful skills to have. Um, but that is not what we're looking for for the portfolio piece. We're looking for code that doesn't even have to be related to a game, doesn't have to be uh, in a game engine, doesn't have to be Unity, doesn't have to be Unreal. Rather, it's, how is this technically challenging? If you did something in computer vision in your undergrad, if you did something in graphics, if you did something in physics, if you did something in none of those, those places, but it was technically challenging, that's what we want to see. You do not have to have made a game in order to get accepted into FIA. What we want to see is that you have a foundation, that you are grounded in good programming practices. You do not have to be an expert in C, you do not have to be an expert in C++, but you have to show some proficiency in C or C++. Let's say that you have more than one uh, project that you're proud of, that you think demonstrates your skills well. Um, and But one of them is a C-sharp or a Java project, or maybe it's a, a web application or a desktop application. Um, submit it, absolutely. That, that, however, can't be your only submission, right? What we want to see is put your best foot forward. Um, don't, I would rather quality over quantity. Don't send uh, a dozen different uh, code samples. We're looking for what you find is uh, mo best demonstrates your skill set. Now, again, though, we're looking for do you have some familiarity with C in C++? Um, it, it, it need not be C++. If you are a C programmer, and this is true for a lot of our undergrad students coming out of UCF, um, uh, many of them come with uh, C programming backgrounds. That's great. Um, submit those things that you find most, uh, that you're most proud of, that think that you think demonstrate your skills the best in that language. Um, if you do work in modern C++ or in C++ 98, great. Send us something that is, uh, in particular, uh, interesting, even if it's not a game. The assignment is about uh, evaluating you and your current coding uh, capability. And, and another piece that I'll mention here about your portfolio is we do not just look at your portfolio in isolation. We look at your portfolio alongside your GRE scores and your undergraduate uh, transcripts. So I want to see at least two of those be really wonderful. As part of your submission, if you have your code on a GitHub repository or a Bitbucket repository, then submit that, right? Send us a link to that repository. It does not have to be a zip file with your code in it. In fact, I would rather see that you have familiarity with uh, revision control. If you have some sort of uh, revision control background, that not, need not be Perforce, which is what we teach here at FIA. Um, the most commonly, this will be Git. Uh, and that's great, I wanna see that. Send me your GitHub link, send me your Bitbucket link, uh, and we'll, down, we'll take a look, we'll download, we'll clone down that repository, and that's what we're gonna look at. Final piece of advice that I would make about the application process in general, including the portfolio submission is, do not be afraid to apply. Don't be afraid to apply. Don't talk yourself out of an application. Don't talk yourself out of applying to FIA because you are, you are guaranteed not to get accepted.